Hello, we will understand the Fury application purchase a uh, process purchase requisition. Now here, uh, the process purchase requisition app contains all of the purchase requisitions, uh, and uh, with with this application, you can convert the purchase requisition or create a RFQ. Uh, considering one particular purchase requisition or create a purchase order with the reference of this purchase requisition or contract. So we will understand this application. Uh, here you can see in the above part yeah, at the top these are all filters. Okay, So all of the filters you can minimize it and you can hide and unhide it. Okay, so in this filters, you can enter any of the values. Suppose in purchase requisition number, I will just search for a value. So you will get a filter like this. <clears throat> so you can uh, take it uh, from the include or exclude. So I will just take uh, contains. Okay, and I will enter 69. Uh, any number which uh, any purchase requisition which contains 69. I click on OK and then go okay so here you can see the star star means anywhere in the number if there is 69 it will bring it over here so all of these purchase requisitions so the filters you can understand how are the options to search the document okay exclude include it is a bit different than our gui which we were previously using then we have different uh, filters like uh, plan, purchasing group, organization and if you want any more filter you can just go to add up filters and here you will have more filters. So you can just uh, click on any of the filter and it will appear on your front screen. Suppose desired vendor. So here you can see desired vendor. Okay, Like this it will appear on your screen and same if you remove it, it will be removed from your screen okay fine so the next thing is if you want to save this uh, as a template for yourself so you can go in here drop down manage and then you can save it once you save this if i go back and i come again in the application you can see the 69 the filter which i have applied it is already there okay so uh, again if i want to remove this i'll just go here and then save it manage and save it so it will uh, understand that okay only one filter which is plant it will be applied okay so <clears throat> fine we will go with this uh, contains 69 and i'll click on okay go fine one more thing you can do here is you can send an email from here. Okay. And one more uh, option you have is suppose this particular with this filters and all of the data, majorly the filters, you can save as style. Okay. So if I will just go back and show you, if you see at the top here is here, there is no purchase requisition tile. It you can adjust it anywhere once it is created i will just go and uh, save as style okay so it will ask title so test test and it will ask which pages which page do you want we have only one home so i'll click on apply save okay if i go back and go at the top you can see recently added test test okay you can change the description of this uh, process purchase requisition so if i click on it you can see this particular thing here okay so if required now if you want to remove this you go to edit current page just remove it and close it okay it is so simple <clears throat> we'll go to the application again here okay so this part you have understood now the next thing is i'll just hide this and the next thing is here uh, you can see all of the purchase requisitions if you remove this you'll and click on go you'll see all of the purchase requisitions 
now i can just select one of the purchase requisition or multiple purchase requisitions okay i'll take one and i can uh, click on uh, create rfq okay or uh, create contract before that i will just show you the layout what options we have now we are having the minimum uh, show less per row okay if i go to show more per row so each purchase requisition you can see all of these details now suppose you want to change the details you want to see something else so go to the settings and these are the uh, like values which you are able to see there okay so what you can do is you can suppose you don't want something fixed uh, supplier assigned supplier quick edit and you don't want this so i'll just click on okay so you can see it is reduced for it is uh, uh, hidden now for all of the purchase requisitions so this you can do and the next thing is you can uh, download uh, the whole sheet okay i'll just cancel this you can download the all data from in excel format so here also you have export as so you can define which it will be excel only okay so you can include filter settings split cells with multiple values so all of these things you can um, uh, like uh, select and then you can download the file okay so now there is one more thing if you can see a uh, arrow here i if i click on this it will take me to manage purchase requisition uh, sorry purchase requisitions where it will show me the details for this particular purchase requisition okay if i if i go down so which is the item then if there is any attachment all of these things i can see over here okay so you have understood this now the next thing what we will do is if i click here and i click on create rfq so it will take me to the rfq screen now okay external uh, supplying uh, source sourcing requirement i click on apply so you can see uh, request for quotation okay so we are on the screen where we can create a rfq and same i will just discard this same you can see here you have create contract so if i click on here it will take me to purchase contract so i can create a contract over here okay so now how to create a rf or rfq and contract we will have a different video for that you can see that now this is disabled but you can also create a, a purchase order directly from here so basically this is very useful for the purchaser uh, who is uh, going to uh, create uh, either of the things rfq or po or contract okay so uh, you have any doubt you can just uh, write in the comment and if you want any new video or something so you can also suggest me for that thank you very much